Hey, this is Larry from Larry's Hobby Garage, and today I got home from work, and we've got the forward trenches. Came in the mail today. We're gonna pop these open, take a look. All right, so we pop them open, and regular old black plastic case with a bag inside of it. Inside the bag, you get three long trenches. Looks like the well, top one of them is a T and some corner pieces. We're just ripping them open. Don't know if I want to call this, I'm going to call it black. Kind of has a funny, it's, it's really, it, the, the camera's not doing well on it. I know it looks shiny. But it, while it's shiny, it also kind of has that um, dullish gray feel to it. Uh, so here's one, and then there's the T intersection. It looks like you can line them up like that. You can also line them up together. Number two here, just a straight section there. Number three. Just another straight section. It looks like it looks like here these two are identical. Uh, just kind of looking at the marks here. Two of them identical. One T section or entrance section. The two corners. Let's see if we can get the light on there. There we go. They're identical as well. And let's go down to the top down version. Here's a top down version down here on the fat mat. And uh, kind of like the way they fit together. Then I'm going to compare them here with one that I've made. Okay, so here they are. This is with a couple Bane Knights. Um, this one actually sitting in the middle has a little bit of wobbly uh, on one of the boards. And uh, you can kind of see that that may, that may actually fix out. A couple of uh, Winter Guard uh, infantry guys. Here is the Harbinger. Uh, one thing I notice here about the Harbinger on these templates, uh, especially when I put it, put up Ruin, they, the, the large base doesn't quite fit within the tracks. So here's another large base and it. You can see here it hangs up uh, there on the corner and doesn't quite go in the tracks. It's just a hair, just a hair too big. Let's grab some medium base stuff here. Here's a Scorn uh, Cyclops and you can see the medium bases are fine in there. And there's what the small bases look like. And just playing around with them, this little lip right along the edge here, whatever is coming up to the trench, if you can get your base just a hair on that, it is not wobbly. Uh, just thought that was something, just thought that was something to pass along. And when I hold them up to the war machine, you know, because I know we're going to be able to pre-measure stuff here in Mark Three. Uh, but this template actually is three by five on the measurement. So the three by five cards, I've always just kind of been using them as the inside of the trench. So obviously it doesn't matter where you are if you're... So for kicks and giggles here, here's what we've done. I've just got the three long pieces here. Here's the five inch the 4 inch and the 3 inch AOE rings, 10 inch spray, two sections is going to be 10 inches, 
Uh, from here, you're going to have 15 inches all the way along the side. Unfortunately, I'm not going to paint these because I've got a whole box of stuff over there that's still on the painting table and some stuff that has to be gone through and cleaned up and make sure that I'm not missing any parts because Mark III is coming. Well, let's look at the forward trenches uh, for 14 bucks on a pre-order uh, shipped to my door. I uh, thought that was pretty good. Looks like the price, I'm going to guess, is like $18 or $19 at your local game store. Uh, but since that's 140 miles from me, we do mail order. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Larry's Hobby Garage.